to be covering a topic I have gotten lots of requests to do from my Instagram family. So I'm very excited to share with you my USMLE Step 1 High Yield Study Strategy. I'm going to be covering the resources that I personally use to prepare for this exam. Um, there are tons and tons and tons of resources out there and a lot of them are really good. So this is not a comprehensive list of the resources out there. It's just the things that I like to use and the things that I've become very familiar with and found to be the most helpful during my study strategy and uh, sharing it with you. Hopefully you can pick up bits and pieces that work for you as well. Um, I'm going to link my original blog post below in the description. Make sure you check it out because I do a little breakdown about the exam, what the exam covers, and how my medical school curriculum is split up. That stuff is really important for you to know ahead of time so that you can modify your study strategy to personalize it to your own schedule and how your medical school perhaps um, goes about spilling up the curriculum, which is pretty important. And so this will be a brief overview of the resources that I really love and what I recommend um, for you to use for the US Emily. I have prepared for a very similar exam when I was applying to oral and maxillofacial surgery. Um, we had to take the NBME CBSC exam, which I also talk about in my blog post, and I used all the same resources to prepare for that. So I have um, picked up all the resources that I really liked and kind of um, set aside the ones that didn't really help me so much. So I have become pretty familiar with these resources and uh, hopefully you'll find this very informative and helpful. Okay, so your number one resource for studying for the US Emily is your lecture notes from medical school. Nothing could beat that. And the reason why I say this is because all of the resources that I'm going to be covering are resources that highlight the high yield points. They are not by any means a method for you to learn medicine from A to Z. You really have to already have that knowledge somewhere in the back of your brain and you put it all together using these resources. So they are review resources, they're not comprehensive and they definitely are not as detailed as a lot of your lecture notes will be. So the number one resource for you is your lecture notes. Once you've mastered that material, you can move on and use the different review books in order to highlight all of the really high yield points that end up showing up on exams over and over and over again, which then are highlighted in these books. And so don't forget and set aside your lecture notes. Definitely make sure that you use them to fill in all the gaps that um, these books might have and make sure that you've mastered that material first and these resources are really great to use alongside all of your lecture notes and so I recommend using these resources at the start of second year where most medical schools will end up covering topics like pathology, pathophysiology, and pharmacology. It's a great time to start getting really familiar with these resources so that you can Put it, put it all together and at the end when you're closer to your exam and you're getting ready for very, very intense studying, you've already kind of created a routine and a rhythm with these resources and you can find everything that you need very, very easily. So the holy grail of USMLE Step 1 resource and that is the first aid USMLE Step 1 book. I'm currently using the 2017 version. They just came out with the 2018. I'm going to link both below. Um, usually they don't make too many changes and so if you already have one version, don't feel the need to upgrade unless you need to restart or you you know, you know want to um, do something specific with it. But other than that, you really don't really need to upgrade. And so I've used the 2017 version because I started studying in the beginning of this school year, which was in July 2017 and I'm going to keep this book and use it over and over again until my exam date, which will be in the beginning of May. So this book is really incredible because it splits up the body um, into systems. And so it goes over GI, renal, cardio, all in separate units. And in every single unit, they go through everything from anatomy to physiology to pathology and pharmacology, which is split up really nicely because a lot of med schools do this as well. And it's really helpful to be able to use um, the first aid book alongside your lecture notes to kind of summarize everything that you're reading and annotate in here. Um, this book you'll go through over and over again because it is 
filled with high yield information. I mean, everything in here, they don't really put in unless it's something that's tested over and over again and something that just always shows up on exams. And so definitely become very familiar with this book. I'll do another video about why I modified it um, so that I can keep it in good condition till the end of my study, study period. Um, I'll do a separate video on that, so stay tuned. And I'll also do a separate video on how I annotate this book and how I use it alongside UWorld as well. So this is definitely the number one high yield resource. I really love all the diagrams that they have in here and um, all the different pictures and the charts and really nothing beats first aid mnemonics. I just really love um, how they simplify things and give you ways to learn it and understand it. Okay, let's move on to another high yield resource and that's one of my favorite and it's the Fundamental of Pathology by Dr. Sitar. This is a book of notes that goes alongside Dr. Sitar's Pathoma videos. Um, Pathoma is a incredibly um, great tool for reviewing pathology. Dr. Sitar has a magical way of simplifying um, pathology and really teaching you um, a very simple and easy way to think about all the different pathologies of all the different systems. And this is a uh, uh, notes that are created by him to follow along his videos. So definitely subscribe early on. The way I like to use this resource is um, alongside my lectures. And so I'll use the videos um, in the first couple of weeks of a given unit. So let's say we're talking about renal. Um, when my renal lectures uh, roll through in my classes, I'll start watching some of his renal videos. It'll give me kind of a um, preview into what's coming next and it helps me understand it better so that when um, the lectures give me more details and things like that I already know what's going on and so this is a really really excellent resource to use alongside your notes to really get a good understanding of pathology and um, kind of keep it in the back of your mind um, while you are studying for the different um, exams that you have to take and then it's also a really great resource to use at the very end right before you do your intake Hence, you assembly studying to go through this book because it's um, small and very condensed. You can just read through it in a day or two days and watch all the videos and it would be a wonderful review right before um, you start all of your really, really intense studying. So this is a must do and definitely subscribe early on in your second year of medical school so that you can have these resources throughout your um, year. The other resource I want to discuss is Dr. Golion's Rapid Review of Pathology. This is um, a incredibly detailed, dense, um, lots of reading, lots of information uh, resource. So it's not something that I would spend lots of time trying to memorize from cover to cover. It is something that I use alongside UWorld and First Aid and all of the other resources um, to pick up just a few extra high yield points per topic. So I definitely don't spend tons of time reading through this, but I do look at the different topics that are high yield and use this to pick up um, extra facts that maybe can give me a couple more questions on the US Emily. Um, and it's definitely a resource that I consult if I don't understand a certain topic and I really want to get um, a full understanding of that um, topic. And uh, Definitely, definitely very dense and overwhelming, so don't try to master this book, but use it as a reference and additional resource to get very high yield um, information and facts from here. So it's not something that I sit down and annotate, but I definitely use it to supplement other topics that I'm weak on or topics that I feel really comfortable in and I wanna pick up some few extra information that maybe I can put in the back of my mind so that uh, they can help me with a few questions here and there. For the big resource that uh, I want to go through that's a little bit more complicated is the UWorld Question Bank. Anyone who's ever taken the US Emily has always highly recommended the UWorld Question Bank because it is 
awesome. The questions are incredible. They're very, very well written. They cover a lot of high yield topics and it's a really good way to familiarize yourself with how the exam questions are written on the USMLE because it is not um, a simple, you know, one sentence question with a five choice multiple answer. It is a lot more complex than that and written in a very specific way and can be um, a multi-level multi question that you would have to answer. And so the UWorld question bank is a very very high yield resource that should be used to study as well as get familiar with the exam um, the Q bank could be purchased and if you purchase an option for 180 days or more you're allowed to reset the questions once there's 2,500 questions and if you get to reset it once then you should really go through the exam at least two times so that you can really learn from the material that you are given um, and uh, you definitely can reset it midway through your studying and so the way I use UWorld is I do all of the questions for the topic that I'm studying in my lecture um, and I use the answer explanations to annotate in my first aid book so that I can fill in the blanks and uh, that's definitely very very um, a uh, very complex uh, dance between you world and first aid and your lecture notes and so I will have to do a separate video um, for the sake of time explaining exactly how I combine my you world with my lecture notes as well as first aid to get the most out of the three resources together so stay tuned for that video but for now I just want to highlight how important UWorld is. So definitely purchase it in the beginning of second year and, and I recommend getting the full year version because most students will use it throughout the year while they are still in their second year curriculum until they get to their um, intense uh, step one studying um, all the way up until they take the exam. Literally, you could be doing questions till the day before or two days before the exam. So definitely very, very, very high yield. Um, also, we'll link um, the subscription down below. So those are the resources that I really recommend. There are some other supplemental resources that you can use for um, extra help. So for example, if you are really weak on certain topics or you're an international student who needs a comprehensive review of all of the different topics from A to Z, um, a program and subscription called Doctors in Training is a really wonderful tool that um, will literally cover every topic um, that's tested on the exam and will give you all the information that you need to help you review and it's a really really great option for people who need a really comprehensive review um, and that's a whole subscription system that um, I will also link below another really helpful resource is sketchy um, sketchy videos cover topics like micro farm different things like that so if you are a visual learner and like to put pictures to the really difficult topics like microbiology um, it is a really really great resource a a lot of people really love um, that simplify things and put everything into a picture kind of way. It's really hard to explain, but really ends up helping you um, remember very difficult topics like uh, microbiology and pharmacology. So that's also a resource that's really helpful. These are definitely, you know, sketchy and uh, doctors in training are not something that I would put very, very high up on my list, um, but it is very, very helpful resource that I will provide for you. And I have tried both of them and really do like them um, but I mostly tried them when I was studying for the CBSC and didn't have um, medical school curriculum and my lecture notes to refer to so at that point they were really really helpful all right you guys that's it I hope you found this video helpful go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel and definitely comment below let me know um, your favorite resources for studying and if there's other content that you would like for me to see I love getting your feedback don't forget to visit the original blog post for more information about the exam and my website, www.15blades.com and follow me on Instagram for daily posts. And thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.